Tonight, we take a look back at one of the greatest feuds we've had thus far between Mr. Darius Carter and the five-tool player, Anthony Bones. Right in front of the ropes is Darius Carter. Could this be the end of his undefeated streak here in Capital Wrestling as Bones has it locked in? Well, what a way to debut for Anthony Bones if this is it. Look at the torque. I can't tell you the last time I've seen Darius Carter, if ever, tap out. Is he reaching? Can he get there? Can he get there? But he seems too far Just from out it. of reach, it seems. Oh, and rolling him over, trying to get two count over. Two count only, rather. Kick right to the temple. Now Darius Carter, Carter down. And this might be the opportunity he's been waiting for. Setting up for it. Could it be? But so exhausted, he's taking so much Looking time here. Looking for it. Oh! Kicking the leg out from underneath. Neckbreaker. Cover and modified two, two count only. Locking in those arms. And Bowens, I, I don't know if it was a bravado or he was just exhausted taking all that time, but either way, Darius Carter was able to regroup. And we hear myself, we find us in that position again. Who can get to their feet first to take advantage of this situation? But they're both just so exhausted. Bowens struggling right now. Darius Carter, the look on his face. Again, stalking, perhaps setting up for that foreclosure. This is Bowens, looking for it. This has got to be it. In the ring position, but Carter just waiting for him. Can he nail it? Looking for the foreclosure. Countered. Spins him around, catches the kick. Dodges it. Looking Bowens. for a backslide. Can't, can't quite lock it in. Both men going hold for hold. No one getting a distinct advantage here. And another European up, uppercut. Looking for it. Goes to front, close, rolls through, tries to hold it. Covers him down. One, two, three. What? Are you kidding? Wait a minute. Was that it? And it was three count. Are you? The undefeated streak of Darius Carter has come to an end. What a tremendous upset. At the hands of the five-tool player, Anthony Bowens. What an, an incredible debut here in Capital Wrestling. No small feat to say the least. I mean, defeating wrestling's richest prize, Darius Carter, perhaps the, the man with the best 2018, the best debut in Capital Wrestling history. And suddenly, Anthony Bowens finds himself the 5 2 player atop the mountain here at Capital Wrestling. Wait a minute. Darius Carter calling for the music. Taking umbrage here. It's done, Carter. It's done. The streak is over with. That man was kissing the entire time. Taking umbrage with the ref. Nope. Five tool player, huh? Yeah. You're proud of yourself. I just did. Yeah, the single one. You didn't beat nobody. You didn't beat anyone. You're right, you are. Saying nobody. he hasn't beaten anybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Player here. How about this? I know for a fact, and even these plenty of people know that I can beat you. And I can beat you again. And then I can beat you again. Big claim from Darius Carter. Darius Carter lo losing the match here tonight, but still. Best 
the five. Well, Darius Carter certainly upping the ante here. Sounds like a fantastic idea here, but will Bowens accept? You're on. Yeah! Well. And it's official. Best of five series between wrestling's richest prize and the five tool player. Wow. Will the five tool player be victorious? Or will change come for him as he's come for everyone else? After shocking the world in his debut match, Darius Carter had to resort to some questionable tactics in their second bout. Trying to get positioning here in the two of them to see who can get up first. Who will be the first one to take advantage of this? Ooh. Now when you're doing a best of five, it changes the, the strategy that you have because guess what? It's gonna be terrible for Darius Carter if he goes down 0-2. I don't foresee that happening. Darius Carter, neither of these men are the kind of men to hold back to save anything. So each one of these matches in this best of five, both men are gonna go full bore. You gotta wonder, is Darius Carter like a caged rat? A guy who's ready to, a coiled snake ready to strike. Uh, Stewing over this loss. And look at this, Anthony Bowen. Ooh, that uppercut though. And just Covering every quickly. time Bowen tries to get some momentum, Darius Carter comes in and stops him right at the path. Both men giving no quarter here. Oh, an elbow, elbow right on the chin. Might be knocked out there. Cover one, two. Two count only. You saw as that elbow, as that forearm made contact with the chin, there was a glazed over look from Darius Carter but not enough to put the man away. Listen, there's no doubt about it that, that, that Anthony Bowens, you know, that, that win was important for him for, to debut a capital wrestling like that. You can build a whole career on something like that if you do it properly. And a man like Darius Carter who sees himself at the top of the heap, a man who has prestige, a man who has influence everywhere he goes. I know you and him oh, we talk. Ooh. Oh, wow. I know you and Ouch. him, he has some sort of influence or at least a friendship there. Intelligent people talk with other intelligent people. Ooh, so that's, why I don't call, that's why I don't speak to you when we're not doing this show. Anthony Bowen. Neither do I unless it's court ordered. Anthony Bowen's trying to go for something. Darius Carter immediately changing his ring position, not allowing Bowen's to take advantage, but still. But you gotta believe that that's the reason why a guy like Anthony Bowen's, oh, and using. Using his own cover one, two, three. It looked like I couldn't see from here, but it looked like he had a handful of tights. Here's your winner, Mr. Darius Carter. Legal or not, he used his own Owen's own arm to low blow him. And now the series even at one apiece here. The method, when you do a best of five, sometimes you've got to pull out all the tricks. And Darius Carter going deep, showing his intelligence. If you're wondering if there's something a little off to you, that's because there isn't. I'm in my streak gear instead of my five to a player gear. And that's because I unfortunately have to announce that tonight I am not medically cleared to compete. Not medically cleared to compete. What does that mean for the best of five? And that a problem because this is the best of five series. And there's a little rule that says you have to have five consecutive matches. So. That's how it works, Anthony. So, I'm proposing this. Me and you. Match three, one month from now when I'm cleared to compete so we can keep this series fair and so we can entertain the fans like they deserve to be each and every night. That seems like a fair proposal, Harry. Give well, the man time to recover. Well, let's hear what Darius Carter feels about this because he has a right here of refusal. There's that veteran sensibility of a Darius Carter. Wait a minute, Anthony, there's a lot of build-up here, and I have to say, I'm really disappointed in you. I expected better from you, the five-tool player, a hero, an inspiration to these ignorant people over here. Oh, yeah. Well, even the ignorant need to...
to be inspired. Why are you looking at me? No reason. That's true. He's the one competing tonight. It's a real reflection of you and yourself. It's not a reflection of me. Just like this is a reflection of you, Anthony. Because you see, when I lost my first match, I didn't complain. I didn't make an excuse like you are. Didn't pretend to get hurt so you can dump this match. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You're trying to look good in front of these people, but you are afraid of Darius Carter. Just like everybody else in that locker room. Just like the champion. The man's injured. It happens. That's part of a professional right. wrestler doing his job. Give me an answer. Oh, I'm going to say right now. I'm going to say right now. I'm going to talk over you. I'm going to talk over you. The answer is no. Oh, wait a minute. The answer is no. You chose to come out here. You chose to come out here in your, in your street attire. Which is ridiculous. What you wear to go to a store to pick up food for your house. You come out here. Bowens, he will be down 2-1 in this best of five series. And that was a what horrible, and honestly, the emotion inside gets festering. I watched that single solitary tear for you and your pathetic career. I really, really do. Really, 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 for Anthony Listen, Bowens. He gets to watch Darius Carter. Using the ring to his advantage. Ooh, tying up Carter and then just laying a chop into that chest. That's the advantage that you speak of, of having a two, uh, a one, uh, a one win advantage. Anthony Bowens has to go after Carter to pick up this win. Carter has one to burn, so to speak. Well, yeah, I mean, he more than likely won't. It's probably going to be 3-1 here, but he does have that advantage. You can do it things that are a little bit trickier. You can do things that, you know, are a little high risk and can put somebody away. One, two, and now quickly, Bowens kicking out. And again, there is no quit in Bowens, that's for sure. Look at that clubbing blow to the back of the head. Both of these men continuing to battle through. What would this mean to Bowens to win this best of five? You figure he started in this match, uh, in this best of five series, debuting in Capital Wrestling, winning when nobody but him believed that he would do it. He was the first person at the time to win the Brass Ring Invitational that Darius Carter has challenged newcomers to. But Carter is so smart, luring him into a best of five series. Cover one, two, two count only. And now, 
Now, smartly, see what, what does Darius Carter do? He immediately goes to take the oxygen away, to, to, to make him work out of this position. Look Slowing at the, the pace down here. Not just that, but making him use all those muscles to try to power out of that. Speaking of power, power personified is Anthony Bowens as he breaks, gets some separation here, tries to get a breather. But Which, yes, puffing and puffing, trying to get that oxygen. It takes a lot out of you. And sometimes the pinfall, by the way, is not about getting the one, two, three. Sometimes it's about making your opponent work and exerting energy. And now Carter, ooh! Counters. Bowens from the middle rope. Blockbuster! And for Bowens, this, he has to come back down. And the fans getting behind Bowens, trying to will him back into this matchup. And the winner of this series could have serious implications on the championship picture in the future. Either one of these men could be in contention. I mean, Darius Carter, in an impressive three wins in a row. Ooh, that could mean something. Bowens defeating Darius Carter. Ooh. Exchanging shots. Oh, one more powerful than the next. How are these men still standing? Oh, right to the midsection. Another shot underneath the chin. Darius Carter on Dream Street. Leapfrogs. Oh, look at him manipulating that knee. Oh, right to the back of the neck. Caught him with that kick. Cover one, this could be it, two. Two count only. Bowen's trying to figure out what he has to do. This, mentally, this has got to be tougher than just a regular match. This is the best of five series. Anyone can win one match. A fluke can happen. And that's what Darius Carter's trying to do. But to win three in a row, that's something differently. That solidifies your place here in the business. But Carter quickly grabbing the forearm. But Bowen's trying to hold on tight here. Oh, palm strike from Darius Carter. And a neck breaker. Going that for the could cover. be it. One, two. Oh! Just kicked out. So close to embarrassing Anthony Bowens. That's the other thing. Think of the, the, the embarrassment it would be for Anthony Bowens to lose three matches in a row. And now he has to make a Embarrassment? Comeback. Are you kidding me? There's nothing for Anthony Bowens to be embarrassed about, even if he was to lose this match. Look at the effort that he's given. He wants more here in the Capitol, and he's willing to earn it. And you're seeing that right now. Nobody wants to lose three times in a row. That doesn't matter. You know, he can, you, you can be proud of your performance, and that's fine. Nobody wants to lose three times in a row, Steven. And now, Darius Carter stalking Bowens. Went for that knee, gets him up. But Carter, trying to reach for the ropes, can't do it. Gets Rolls out up, of it. cover one, one two, two oh. and caught, Darius Carter caught with his feet on the top rope, leverage finally. Someone got lens crafters. Oh, going for the kick and missing. Caught him up. Oh, oh right to the back of the other leg. You saw the tension. Yes. Has him up. Elbows out, but Darius Carter's knee affected. Rolling through, locking oh. it. That's not a tap. That's not a tap. Just out of reach of the ropes. Can Bowens make Carter tap here? Locking in that knee. And he taps out oh, Darius Carter. Here is your winner as the result of a submission. The final player, Anthony Bowens. What versatility by Anthony Bowens here. I thought he was going to look for the never ender, but he didn't. What he did was he locked that knee in, wrenched it. And Anthony Bowen somehow has made, he's able to survive another day in his attempt to make the greatest comeback, as far as I'm concerned, in sports entertainment history. The unspoken sixth tool, a win. And a little bit of a taunt there from Anthony Bowen. This series all tied up, 2-2. Two -two. You have to wonder, now with everything on the line, two -two. one more. In a final matchup, only one matters. Now it's down to one match for all the marbles. My name's Anthony Bowens, and I'm wrestling's five-tool player. Five-tool player? 
this big deal. I, I hear about you. I read about you. You're the man who ended Darius Carter's undefeated streak. That's, that's you. I am going to use the best of five series format to expose your faults one by one by one until there is nothing left of you to remain at the Capitol. We've been through it all these past couple months, buddy. You've been trying to do everything you can to take advantage of an injury that I had. You cheated to win, so really, you haven't even truly defeated the five tool player yet. I have you scouted, Darius. Tonight, Anthony bows down, he falls down, and you all have to admit that you were wrong and that I was right. Tonight, you're in for the ass kicking of a lifetime. I am the one that is true. What is true is Darius Carter, wrestling's richest prize. No one's gonna remember or care about that first time. No one's gonna care about that at all. And no one's going to care about you. Five tools, one rule, prove them wrong. <laughs> Obviously done it at least twice. Yeah, but he's also lost two matches as well. So what? Well, no, he did not lose one match. He was forced to forfeit due to injury because the classless Darius Carter would not allow him to wait to compete, to heal up, to face him uh, at 100. Excuse me. I'm sorry. What does the record book say? What is the record? What is the record of this match? Why are we having the fifth match of a best of five series if Darius if Darius Carter didn't win two of those matches? It's semantics, Steven. It doesn't matter. It all comes down to this match. It's all about the fact that Darius Carter has a huge ego, and he didn't enjoy the fact that on his first night in the company, in their first matchup, Anthony Bowens won. Anthony Bowens, well, Darius Carter considers it a fluke, and look at that, some trash talking from Darius Carter. And Darius Carter just giving a little bit of instruction from a veteran to a, you know, a younger wrestler, trying to pass on some of that knowledge, and ungratefully, Anthony Bowens not taking it. And the time for jaw jacking is over. As I said, one fall to a finish will decide this best of five series. And look at the strength there. Anthony Bowens winning the first match, Darius Carter then winning the second two, with Bowens pulling off the win in match four to force this final matchup. Well, I mean, look, look at, and look at the start of the match here for Darius Carter gaining control. And again, Darius Carter always using the ring Knowing his presence, his awareness of where he is located at any given point. But right now, Bowen's using that strength. Now using the ropes. But blocked by Carter. He's got to get it back in the ring to win it. But here comes Bowen's looking to fly. On the top rope here. But taking a little bit too much time. You saw he didn't get his footing right there. Oh, he didn't get his footing right, but he definitely got that fist right. Oh, and oh but look there at that. goes Carter throwing Anthony Bowens over. And again, that's the, the ring awareness of Darius Carter, knowing where he is at any given point and using that to his advantage. See, here's the thing. There's no doubt about it. Bowens has the size advantage. He also might have the speed advantage, but he does not have the intelligence advantage that Darius Carter has. Oh, but you can't count out the intelligence, one of the five tools of the five-tool player. Well, intelligence compared to what? Let's be honest, he's from Nutley, New Jersey. There's not a lot of Mensa graduates out there. Don't you live in New Jersey? Not Nutley, New Jersey. And look at this, look at this. Driving Bowens into the barricade. Oh, no. Oh, the sound of those chops. And Darius Carter showing that not only can he out-wrestle Bowens, he can out-brawl him too. Referee to a six count there, admonishing Darius Carter, telling him to get into the ring. And Darius Carter just checking on his uh, ring robe. No, not checking on oh. his ring robe, grabbing the ring bell here. If he gets disqualified here, the advantage for the best of five will go to he Anthony Bowens. He knows that. Obviously, he does not know that if he put that there. No, no, no. Oh. Joel. Driving his head into that. And referee Nick Shin being very liberal here. He could easily disqualify one or both competitors, but this is the best of five series, Steven. 
if he disqualified them, I, you know, you couldn't blame him. But at the same time, he has the same leniency that any NFL or any NHL official. He's letting them play. Letting them play might be not in the best interest for both of these men. And quite frankly, I don't think Darius Carter would want to win it that way, to be quite honest. He's with the you. one who brought the damn bell in. He was just showing the bell to Anthony Bowens. This is not show and tell. This is time for best of five. Action dropping Darius Carter on his face on that hard part of the ring. Darius Jaw Carter first. becoming really acquainted, unfortunately, with that ring apron. Cover made, one, two, two count only as Darius Carter just escapes. You gotta wonder how that effect will be from smashing his head. Oh, chop to the solar plexus. And again, that power from Anthony Bowen, undeniable. Closed hand there, he's gotta be careful. Official Nick Shin. Oh, and look at that. Dunking underneath and giving a modified European uppercut there. And knee, cover one, two, two, two count only. And again, one, look at that. Two, right back to it. And again, you wonder why he keeps pinning him, because it's not necessarily about getting the victory, it's about keeping Bowens down and forcing him to have to fight from underneath with those pins. And look at Bowens. Expending that energy, but I will say this, the longer the match goes, you have to figure it should benefit Anthony Bowens here as you know, the freak athlete that he is, not to take anything away from the All-Father. There's a method to the madness of the All-Father. He knows what he's doing, he has this firmly in control. You gotta take your opportunities at the right time. See, that's the thought process of a young competitor. Let's just go for it, go for the victory. Try to get the pin very quickly. And you make a mistake and that's how you end up losing this best of five series. That is a key for Darius Carter is to low Bowens into a false sense of security and hopefully catch one on him. Well, that's what he has to hope for, a mistake by Darius Carter, but good luck waiting for that. See, look at that, smartly, just as he's losing the momentum, what does he do? He goes after that knee that's been injured before. And again, the world traveler, the all-father himself, with a European uppercut. And now stalking Bowens, deciding what he's gonna do next, and now just psychologically taunting Bowens. And that's another factor people forget. It's not just the physical aspect of being in the ring. Oh, look Sleeper at that. Sleeper hold locked in deep. He's got to get behind because he wants to get that full torque. A lot of things can affect you psychologically in a match, especially if you're a young competitor. You know, there's a lot of pride that Look goes at him in. rubbing the wrist tape into the head of Anthony Bowens. What are you going to say about that? First the ring bell, now taking all the advantages he can. What I'm saying, if the referee thinks it's wrong, he'll disqualify him. Darius Carter knows just to do enough. Oh, almost dropped. Managed to stop that, but he couldn't stop the kick. And Bowens heating up here, looking to build some momentum, and again, closing the gap quickly was Darius Carter. But holding on to the tights was Anthony Bowens. Dunking underneath, a little crisscross. Another kick. Bowens going for a cravat suplex. He locked that arm underneath. Cover one, two, this could be it. And so close to the upset. And the fans saying that was five. Well, showing you that they don't know how to count. It was clearly wasn't even three. I think they were saying, they were saying who earns, right? You get that reference, right? No, That's I get old. the Simpsons reference. Wait, we don't I get it. We don't own the property. For that. No, we don't own the property for that. It's all right. It's coming out of your paycheck, right? Just focus on the match, Stephen. Stop making Simpsons references. You're a grown man, for God's sake. You have two kids. Bowens setting up Darius Carter on the top rope there. What could he be looking for here? Perhaps Bowens looking for something to seal the deal in this best of five match. If you want to take out Darius Carter and you want to do something big here, what better way to make a statement for Bowens than to win this matchup? Yeah, but look at look at what Darius Carter is doing. Locking his legs around the rope. Clubbing, clubbing Bowens before he can get his full, gris, uh, full grasp around him. Fighting his way out of this because he knows what a dangerous situation it could be. Darius Carter setting up for something here. 
Oh no, what's he doing? They're both in a precarious position here. Hang on to that arm. Oh, oh. the neck breaker from the top. And Darius Carter from wrapping the arm around. Finding himself in a situation, taking advantage of it. And both men down here as, as official, Nick Shin gets to a three count. Both men have the count of 10 to answer, but Darius Carter finally crawling over two. Just two count, but not by much. Anthony Bowens just escaping there. And what does Darius Carter have to do? You gotta wonder, is the frustration setting in for Darius Carter? Look, nobody said it would be easy, but Darius Carter, he's got a lot of tricks left up his sleeve. Well, that's what it's about, tricks. I would love to see this best of five has been about athleticism mostly until Darius Carter stepped outside the rules many times. That's debatable, Stephen. It doesn't matter. The end result is that it's 2-2, and it comes down to this next ball. It comes down to who will make the next mistake. And Darius Carter, look at the quickness. See that Anthony Bowens was getting up. Missing the kick there, but oh, catching Darius Anthony Carter. Bowens. Him underneath. Oh, no, a roll up here. Look. Darius Carter, sunset flip. Sunset flip after the backslide. Oh, driving that knee in, and this could be the opportunity. Bowens needs, needs to make the cover here. But, but wisely, Darius Carter rolling out. And again, that's the one factor. That's the one tool that Bowens does not have, is the veteran experience of Darius Carter, knowing where he is. What does he do? He knows he's in a little bit of trouble. Get out of the ring, he can't be pinned on the outside. And now Bowens wants to continue this, he's got to chase after Darius Carter. But now the count begins. Two count, Bowens goes to the outside as well. Three count, forearm by Carter, responding to the forearm by Bowens. And now grabbing the ring bell is Carter. What does he have in his hands? I don't think Bowens is aware of it. Tossing him in the ring. With the bell, Carter hanging on to it. Smartly getting on the outside. I don't think Nick Shin or Anthony Bowens are aware of it. And there's some frustration setting in for Anthony Bowens. Now re referee Nick Shin trying to keep some separation. Allow Darius Carter. Trying to get this match back on course. We don't want this to end in a double count. Oh! Nick Shin out of the way and right on the head with that bell. You could hear it. Not like this. Darius Carter. Put this stalking. Oh, driving him down with that modified side rushing leg sweep. Two, three count. And the referee, Nick Shin, calling for the bell. <laughs> calling to ring the bell. Where took a while to get that second bell out there. Because Darius Carter, of course, using that bell to his advantage. Of course, he couldn't win it on his own. He had to go outside the rules in order to do it. Now Anthony Bowens is paying the price in the middle of the ring. What do you have to say for yourself here, Harry? We had a say, best of five series. You know what I have to say? What I have to say is congratulations to Darius Carter, Wrestling's Richest Prize. Congratulations on your victory in the best of five series and showing everybody why you are the face of Capital Wrestling. That's what I have to say. After that best of five series ended in some despicable manner, you know, you have to wonder what's next for Anthony Bowens. And what's next for Darius Carter?